Welcome to a new Let's Play with some of our mistakes. Good morning, welcome back to Meadow Grove. My name, as always, is John, and today we have to go to the shop, buy a bag of seed, and the field that was potatoes, what you saw as harvest, we are going to put wheat in that. I have got a friend who is down the bottom here somewhere ploughing for us. The field, that field is going to be ploughed and left and planted with potatoes so we are heading now down to the field we'll uh, pop into the shop get a bag of seed pull up the hopper and then we need to start drilling this wheat got the power arrow drill combination on the back of our New Holland Let's get set in there we're going to have to get a screenshot for you and uh, here we go brakes didn't work very well on that luckily there's no cars coming we will pop in the shop buy ourselves some seed lorry clipped our wheel there This field here is where we're heading to, across the road from the shop, so we can buy a couple of bags of seed and then we can jump out and get this seed purchased. Seed bag, cheaper seed, we shall buy it, we can buy two bags of this for the price of one or most of all the others. So yeah, here's our two bags of seed and here is the setup we've got, the 8340, get a screenshot from there, which works well, now we need to drop that down and put the pipe in it and suck it into the harvester we are drilling wheat today we shall now get ourselves back away and trouble is with this tank of course it sticks out the front of the tractor a while and uh, we can now get out of here before any cars come and there's a car coming now so we have to wait for him before we can get in the gate but uh, now we've pulled too far over to get in right now we're in and we did actually install yes on this so if you bear with us while we get it set up and then we shall resume recording this vlog for you alrighty then we are set and ready to go we are now down on it we shall turn the seed drill on 
lower all tools and we're starting off with the Goring Rose this tractor not really powerful enough for the equipment we're using but uh, it is on full four wheel drive here and Set up that. We'll continue off screen getting this set. better this way down the field of course with the get ourselves good bit of the way down here it's working pretty well we have got some short rows in there to start us off but uh, slowly slowly up the hill but uh, thought it had been better going crossways onto the field so we're crossways onto the hill but everything working nicely at the minute we'll at some point probably buy ourselves a new tractor but at the minute these tractors we've got have to make do we have got 84,000 so we could actually buy a more powerful tractor very soon taking the farm forward there we are that's got that sorted there around we go this tractor also of course in need of a wash at the minute Okay, there we go. Wanted to go straight down these old things, but uh, uh, down the plough pullers. We are slightly crossways on of them, which is not a bad thing, of course, because we are keeping the wheel tracks into a different area not compacting the same lump of soil each time now we need to get ourselves in line here again and we'll go with the power arrow and the drill is now working nicely along although it is very slow uphill but uh, a lot of the land we've got is pretty level so that won't be a major problem going forward divide ground there so the power arrow just lift and it was coming up hit a lump of hard ground we'll then have to come across and get a stage of fertilizer put on the field oh, and almost now to the longer of our rows we'll do it there nicely should be able to hopefully get a good bit of this field done on camera there we are I'm back into the next 
agreed. We'll move forward just a little bit and drop everything there. It's just remembering which of those spore valves. One lifts the front, one lifts the rear at the back there, and one of the front ones, it's the one with the green arrow on, I'll pull this away from us, that actually lifts and lowers all three at once, all three bits at once, and the other one there is a hydraulic top link adjustment. Coming downhill here, we are now travelling at nine miles per hour downhill, so had we gone crossways onto the field, as I think would have probably been a little bit better the way it's going up the hill, but uh, we are getting the field drilled nicely. Go now, get myself set into the next breed. That's that going down, everything has gone down, and away we go again. So, yeah, the animals are all doing pretty well at the moment. We fed them yesterday. And, uh, get all this wheat in do need to get another cut of grass going forward so we can stack some more hay in the shed the main priority at the moment whilst we've got this it is a bit cloudy and overcast today but once we've got this dry weather get these crops in and growing if we don't get another cut of bark grass then that's fine until the spring and we need to get a cut of grass and get potatoes in uh, there we are on to these coming up to the end of there, that's lovely. I'm getting a fair way across even though this old girl is a little, you see it's got black smoke coming out, even the exhaust has gone black, so you see there the fan there that turns, blows everything through the pipe into these back coulters. Uh, Kuhn did a very good job on this. Seems to be going in nicely. There is some bits of old potato top there on the top, but uh, yeah, so now we should get going again. Power shift gearbox there, four speed gearbox on that lever and throttle on this side, range and gears are on there, and the dual power towards an air on the other one. And now we can get ourselves lined up for another row up. This should be done today, should get all this field finished off today. Now we shall we will continue getting this done after the blog has finished. Everything working to our satisfaction at the moment. We need some barley putting in as well. Mm -hmm. 
might even leave the barley until the spring. Let's get our wheat in, winter wheat in, grow, drill some yeah. spring barley. Now we've got some turn of speed on this hill top where the ground levels out a little bit. Not totally, but uh, just a little bit. Cost us fifteen thousand to get GPS installed on the eighty-three forty. But I think it's well worth it. Makes the job much easier, especially when, well, for the most part, we work here on our own. We have got one chap from the village who. He's semi-retired, uh, just wants a bit of work now and again so we can, we, don't, we haven't got enough land or cattle or anything to employ somebody full time. And him and his brother both retirement age. His brother used to own this farm along with him at one point. And, uh, when they decided to retire, they sold it to us. Uh, they both now and again just fancy a day's work and they come in and help us. So one of them is down the bottom of the little road from the yard ploughing the field that's going to be potatoes next year. So that saves me getting that job done. And I can concentrate on the drilling. You know what, we've done all this and we haven't even turned anything on yet. Now we're going to have to move back right out over here. And now we need to be going down. Thought it was going showing a bit different colour ground to what we was used to it doing. There we are. We will continue on from where we are. We will get that piece done at a later date. I just looked and I thought, well, that's strange. We've not used any seed. And there you go. Now you can see where we are. Now that we've got both running, that's a bit of a mistake there. But, uh, we'll catch that on the way back again now. And again, we are now struggling for speed. Now we've got more working. That one, the drill, of course, works off the hydraulics. It's not... The power arrow works from the PTO. The drill itself works from the hydraulics. And is spun around by hydraulic oil. We shall now go from one side to the other up here and get this caught up. This was the last field that got done by the old plough that you saw us use the last time we was on the Summer Farm Estates channel. Get around here, get this sorted. 
Uh, all that work you saw us do was a waste of time. Very annoyed with myself for the mistake I made. But, uh, apart from a bit of diesel, it's not really cost us anything, so... Uh, Should soon get through this field nicely. Just still doing eight miles per hour downhill, so we shall now get ourselves caught up. Comes. We now need to back up before we hit that tree. Down we go again. Now we can get back to the top. <coughs> so yeah, we hope you've enjoyed this video, but we are we do leave some of our mistakes leave the bloopers in. If they make any mistakes they leave them in. The bus goes to if we start recording a vlog to leave any mistakes in. So we have done. You see as they start drilling and not drilling, just power arrowing. And there you see us doing the drilling to make up. It's almost 10 o'clock in the morning here, so uh, was going to stop and have a break and a cup of tea. I think we will. Continue on a pace. Now that we've made another stay around. Great demand at Meadow Grove stores, but we haven't got anything to sell at the moment. Wanting a repair as well, we could actually, before we finish this, go take it over to the shop and ask them to give it a service for us. It's been used a fair bit, this tractor, been on the potato harvester and one thing or another, it's probably another reason why it's a little bit slow at the minute. But we are almost finished here now, we will do one more breed. Go up and down once more, and that is where we shall finish for today. Well, we won't finish for today, but we shall finish with the recording for today. So this is the last round we are going to show you today and then we shall crack on get finished on here. The tractor could also do with the wash. It's getting very dirty indeed at the minute. here somewhere. Let's have to check this because I don't think yeah it is putting wheat in. Yeah, wheat is in there. No, it's not using much seed. 
So we shall go over anyway, get the tractor repaired and then come back and finish this field off. And next time you join us, we have to go and check whether we've got the... There is a local firm of plumbers coming in to actually plumb the cow's water trough in to the main so we don't have to keep filling the water up which going forward is going to save it's not going to save an old chunk of time but with the travel we had to do to get to the water source it's going to save a good lump of work travelling and will pay for itself over time because obviously we don't plan on having just a poo cows we do plan on having all the way through a load more cows which means they're going to use more water which would mean more trips to the river so getting it plumbed into the drain so that is where we're going to leave it for today hope you've enjoyed this vlog please give it a like give it a share drop us a comment once again as always a big thank you to Summer Farm Estates for allowing us to do these vlogs on their channel. If you want to see more of the work that's done on that channel, please subscribe to Summer Farm Estates. You'd see more content from us, content and videos from them and live streams. Until next time, I have been John Greenway. And thank you for watching and bye bye for now. Goodbye.